Hey, 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 y'all. It is Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. I'm going to show you what's going on outside so you understand all the beeping. Of course, we're still doing our sidewalk stuff across the street, which again will eventually be on our side of the street. They've got their sidewalks done. Uh, well, finishing up, they still got the little planner deals and everything that they got to do. But there's a new, new road, new drive there. There's going to be a new drive there. And all the way up there is where they're working now. I'm starting to tear out the sidewalk. But I'm going to close the door while I do this because it is loud with the door open and uh check out my new be right back sign we actually had somebody ask us what brb meant they got mad at us because they didn't know what brb meant so i fixed that i almost put un momento too but i figured you could get most people would get that message so anyway um so right now i'm going to just so this is not all yapping about friday i'm gonna see what's wrong with this y'all want to look at a elko simplex 1000 and see what's wrong with it Got a call out yesterday to from a customer who's also a friend to um, let me uh, set, I'm gonna set the tripod up here. So Ooh, I hope everybody has had a great week. It is Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, let's see what's going on. Oh, I'm hadn't again hadn't done much much, much mucho videos. <laughs> lately because i've been working on a big project that hopefully i will have this weekend yay you get one project off my hands because i'm so tired of doing that video and uh so yeah let's take a look at this simplex real quick and then we will uh go from there okay let's roll let's roll me a chair up here and have a sit down look at this sucker Need a screwdriver, some gloves, because I don't want to get my hands dirty, and a small screwdriver that I do not see sitting up here. Where? There it is. A uh, pry, pry thing there. So let's check the camera. Yeah, you look good. All right. Why is my chair coming up? Come up, chair. Okay. Oh my chair. Oh, this chair doesn't stay up. Okay, whatever. Um, so yes, yeah, so this thing was jammed. How's that for loud? This was jammed on a customer's door yesterday. They could not open it from the inside or outside. Oh, and if you will notice these marks around this, this had twisted around. Um, sometimes they do that so basically it was on the door and I could not poke the retainer which is uh, that side um, I could not locate it because this was off so I had to take a pair of pliers you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and twist it a bit and uh, then I found the retainer, I was able to get it off, but uh, I had to open the door first. So how I had to open the door, this was on there like so, you've got your key cylinder, which I, you know, keep these keys, two screws, and this deal. And since I couldn't get the knob off, I unscrewed this as far as it would go, and it, it would only go to about there, which really didn't do much, except for allow me to pop this plate off, unscrew these screws, and let this kind of fall out of the way on the door. And then I went outside and I pulled it out. And then I looked in the edge of the door and I was able to tell, because this was jammed, like that doesn't go anywhere. Um, I uh, was able to, after I pulled this off the latch, I was able to reach in and lloyd the latch or shim the latch open because this is on the door with a deadbolt as well. And uh, so at night they use the deadbolt and the day they use this. And I'm gonna put some rubbers on here for this part of it. Anyway, I was able to get the door open and uh, finally grabbed the pliers. Uh, 
because I had no other choice. Twisted that, exposed it, got it off. And what the problem is, is pretty much everything. Number one, if your knob turns and stays, it doesn't spring back. That means the knob return spring's broken, which are such a pain in the butt to replace. Um, they're not expensive, but you have to dig everything out of the lock to do it. And see how it sticks. Okay, so that's your spring. But then I started pressing on the keypad here, which you can tell is obviously pretty old. All the black is worn off of it. Um, and so we have a failure here. Now, sometimes it's jammed up because this isn't springing back correctly. So there we go. All right, hold on just a sec. Let's see. Okay, so it's unjammed now, but that spring is definitely broken. And all the buttons were frozen. So let's take a look at taking it apart to see why it had jammed up really badly. And if you press in on that, so this chassis feels like it's also in not great shape. I left my coffee over way over there. So once you get it off the door, I gotta have my coffee for this. Wait, what's our time like? Our time's four minutes, okay. So if y'all have anything interesting going on this weekend, hit, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Got any cool places you're going or cool stuff that you're doing? I did all my yard work last weekend, so I'm free. But it is supposed to be raining here today or later today, which... Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, we had a little tornadic activity the other night, last week. A tornado formed right up, almost above our house. <laughs> and uh, we had to sit in the bathroom with the dogs and everything. And then it happened a couple of days ago, but luckily it did not affect us. And then tonight again, it's called Southern Spring. And it's we have bad storms that sweep through all of a sudden and tear up trees and houses. And it's ridiculous. All right. Oh my goodness, it fits. It fits. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all have a great Friday. Thanks for watching this 35 to 40 minute long <laughs> happy Friday video. Hope y'all have a great weekend and uh, we will see you in the next one. Two, three. Oh my goodness, it's working. I've even got a housing I can switch all that out. Since I'm gonna take it back apart because I would not put this into service with that old return spring. Definitely is gonna want a new return spring on there. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Y'all have a great one and catch the next video.